Okay, in today's video about Telcoin, I want to check out this move up right in here and tell you why are we looking extremely, extremely bullish on Telcoin and there's a very high chance that this is probably just the beginning and our move up overall is far, far from over. So with that said, hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are having a great time with your family and loved ones. And in this video, we are going to check out Telcoin's price charts and see what is going on in terms of Elios Waves and classic technical analysis. Now, before we check out the short-term price action, let me tell you, in the long term, I am 100% bullish in Telcoin. Here is why. You see, as long as we're not taking the lowest low in this region, I can tell you, we are dealing from the lowest low in here with an impulsive structure on the upside. Now, if you want to argue, for example, we're going to have our final bottom around this area, something like this, and maybe this is going to be like a very important support, then okay, you need to be able to find a 5 wave up off of the lowest low. This specific example is a normal 5 wave, which might not be in play in Telcoin. Now, I think we are going to have another kind of impulsive structure, which is an expanding leading diagonal and it looks like this this is our initial move up into wave one correction for wave two big move up into wave three which has to be larger than wave one correction for four it's going to be bigger than wave two and also unlike a normal five wave in here we must actually have overlapping of the waves between wave two and four and this is our final move up into wave five and it has to be the biggest wave in this structure and in terms of the sub waves as you can see we need to have 5 wave up into wave 1, 3, and 5. And for wave 2 and 4, we can consider different possibilities. But if you 100% want to go according to the rules, then you need to say that these two corrections must be A, B, Cs. For me, doesn't really make a difference a whole lot. I'm comfortable with having some sort of a W, X, Y even into our wave 4 or maybe wave 2. Understood? Okay. Because based on that, I'm thinking from this point which is the lowest low on this chart from kucoin we are having a very quick and a strong five wave up followed by that this is a correction down probably an abc zigzag and then another very clear five wave up this whole move down is just a correction and structure and on a high degree in my opinion intel coin we are having at least a one two three big correction down for four and because in here we are having clearly overlapping of the waves between our wave 4 and 2 we can say this might be an expanding leading diagonal and the next move is going to be a big one on the upside into wave 5 in order to at least at least take the highest side in here for the first target which is somewhere around let's say 0.006 so this is why i am bullish on telcoin and believe it or not this is actually the least optimistic scenario I can show you a better possibility and that is going to be the topic of the next video which will be out in about two days and in that case we are looking a lot a lot more bullish than we think but for now let's just go with this scenario that suggests we are going to at least at least for the first step take the highest side in here for the first circuit now let's go on h1 time frame and see what is going on in like very very short term and why do i believe we are looking extremely bullish and this move up there's a very high chance is far far from over you see couple of days ago i made a video for my members and we were somewhere around these areas and i told them look intel coin we can say so far we are having a correction a structure on the downside to about here and it can be either an ABC expanded flat or maybe a W, X, Y in form of a flat and a zigzag. And because this move on the upside to me looks like a very solid one, two, three, four, five. At that point, I told my members, look, probably this is actually going to be the beginning of another big move up in Telcoin. And this can be a correction, a structure down. And on a higher degree, we may have pipe up into one. This whole move down is just a correction for wave 2 and after it's over, soon we are going to have a big move up into wave 3 and 4 and 5. And I still believe that this scenario is actually in play. Now, in terms of the sub waves for our wave 3, I can tell you, maybe, maybe we are having a 1, 2, big move up into wave 3 to about here or here, doesn't really matter, correction for 4 and we are most likely on the last leg 
of this move on the upside which is going to be into this wave three right in here does that mean our move up overall is going to be over absolutely not it just means that soon we can expect some sort of a consolidation pattern coming in and then after it i'm expecting another huge huge move on the upside in order to have the sub waves for this wave 5 right in here this is the main reason for why i believe for now and in the short term in telcoin our move up seems like that is actually not over yet now let's zoom out a bit more and see what is happening so from this part we can have different scenarios but for now let's not be that optimistic and say this is from here a wave one correction for two this white five wave up is going to be into wave three and then we are having correction for four and this can be another move on the upside into wave five and as you can see we are on our way to complete the sub waves for it but again i want to be very clear we are not still there yet and even after this big five up is over i'm expecting just a consolidation pattern and followed by that another huge huge move on the upside so one way or the other it seems like that our move up in tel is actually not over yet and this was in terms of elios waves what about classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances well even in that area we are looking very very optimistic let's just delete the waves in here there we go you see in terms of classic ta let's go on h4 time frame there we go we are having a very very strong resistance area in this region from weekly and daily time frame at the same time and it is between let's just zoom in more okay let's say 0 0.003 and a half to about 0 0.0036 and as you can see for now we are actually above this region now what i want to see in order to be bullish with quite a bit of confidence and say this resistance is broken is a candle close in this is a very important point weekly time frame and then a pullback to this region and followed by that a move up in order to take this high right in here at that point i'm gonna say hey this resistance area is broken and we can go and reach to about the next important region which is going to be all the way up here between let's say 0 0.0048 to about 0 0.0059 so in other words if we get a break of this very very important region and it seems like that we are getting it from here we can actually expect believe it or not another at least 50 percent move on the upside in order to reach to about this very important region and if we get a break of this thing as well at that point you are going to see some serious serious fireworks in telcoin and i'm going to talk about it and tell you what might happen next after we get a break of this area in the next video for now let's just focus on the current move on the upside which in my opinion looks absolutely bullish and second doesn't seems like that is actually over yet because chances are this whole move up is just into this wave three and we can have hopefully hopefully a consolidation pattern above this very important resistance area in order for me to be able to say you know what this is actually a broken region and then we can continue our uptrend in order to have this wave 5 right in here so let's have our final conclusion and wrap up today's video in the short term intel coin we are looking extremely bullish and in terms of elios waves seems like our move up is not over and in terms of classic ta also it seems like that we want to get a break of this region and continue our move on the upside and again if we do actually break this thing from here we can expect another 50 percent move on the upside and in the midterm we talked about it before because in this move down right in here we didn't take this low about let's say 0 0.001 we can actually still remain bullish and say you know what even in the least optimistic scenario we can have a one two three four five wave up in form of an expanding leading diagonal which in it we are going to at least at least take the highest side in here for the first target around let's say 0 0.006 so one way or the other we are looking extremely extremely bullish and it just doesn't seem like that our bull run in telcoin is over and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in tl's price chart anyway 
If you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful time. Goodbye.